10 most effective ways to receive detention. Number 10. Not turning in your assignments. Not turning in your assignments can not only lead to a failing grade point average, but in some cases land you a spot of detention depending on your reasoning why you did not hand it in or why you did not finish it and what kind of instructor you have. For example, if you say you were rushing to school and you forgot it, some may be understanding, but some may not be. And some may not believe you depending on how often you miss your assignments. This one might be the least effective way to receive a punishment such as detention because other instructors might allow you to make up the work and take a certain amount of points off for each day that it is delayed or just give you a lower grade as your punishment. However, if other instructors do not respect your reasoning as to why you failed to hand it in on that day, then you can expect to receive detention. Number nine, running in the halls. Not only will you receive detention, but you will also potentially become injured as well. There are certain safety reasons why teachers and or staff do not like you running in halls. Now, this is actually a pretty easy way to receive detention depending on how fast you are able to run. However, this all depends on how much discipline faculty and staff give at your school. Some may just yell at you and tell you not to do it again, whereas others may automatically scream detention. Number eight, no dress code. Now, this can be an easy way to receive detention or a hard way to receive detention depending on how you go about doing it. There are different factors that play a role in what type of punishment you receive. You may also be able to miss class and have to make up the work later or even get suspended, depending on if you are cooperative or not. Some might not even notice or just make you go home and change or change there. Some might make you sit in the office all day and give you detention, but some may just make you sit in the office or change clothes. It essentially all depends on what you are wearing, how noticeable you make it, and how you react and reply to what they tell you. Number seven, being late for class. Now, instructors do not like when people do not arrive to class on time, but at least you show up. It depends on how late you are and what kind of instructor you have. It also depends on if you have an adequate excuse for why you missed whatever amount of the lecture. It depends on how late you are and what kind of instructor you have. It also depends on if you have a no or an adequate excuse for why you missed whatever amount of the lecture. However, if you don't, you can expect attention. Number six not paying attention to lectures. Instructors dislike when students do not participate in their lectures immensely because they spend a lot of time and in some cases money preparing presentations depending on what it is that they are trying to recreate or represent in the event that they want you to learn. So when they find that you are not paying attention they become angry and are very likely to give you detention. This is also disrespectful in some cases, depending on your reasoning for not paying attention. Number five, sleeping in class. Now this is more effective than just spacing out during a presentation because you are not even making an effort to learn anymore. This is a very effective way to receive detention because again, they take a lot of time to prepare what they want to present to you and you decide to catch up on the hours of sleep that you missed throughout the week on their time. Number four, skipping class. This is obviously a very effective way to receive detention because not only are you missing your lecture and not respecting your instructor's efforts in preparing their presentation, but you don't even show up. If you have an adequate excuse for why you miss your lecture, then you won't receive any punishment at all. But if you get caught trying to take a break from that class, then it is obvious that you are very likely to receive detention. Number three, cheating on tests. Now, this could actually give you a variety of punishments such as suspension and expulsion, which can result in more punishments with your career and even the rest of your life because you don't really absorb any knowledge. So if you want to receive punishment, this is an immensely effective way to do that. That's double detention. 
If that is on your record, it is likely that you will have difficulty getting accepted into college. Now, this varies depending on the type of discipline at your school. Some might just give you a warning and tell you what type of consequences you will receive if you pursue this type of action. Some may give you detention or expel you from there. It all depends on the number of assessments you copy responses on and the significance of the assessment. Number two, talking during lectures. This one is not only a highly effective way to receive detention, but it is also rude and disrespectful. It is highly effective because you are not only disrespecting their efforts in presenting their presentation, but you take away attention from other students as well. It is one thing if one of their students do not participate in their lecture, but if some or all of them end up failing to participate, then this results in them becoming very angry and upset. So you therefore are very likely to receive detention. Number one, disrespecting your instructor. This is the most effective way you can possibly receive detention because it is not a good idea to disrespect your instructor. It is not a good idea to disrespect anyone in authority. Well, I believe that school is very boring and that many teachers are fat and lazy. I'm Haley Fisher and those were my top 10 most effective ways to receive detention. Subscribe to the Aviators for more videos like this in the future.